Uh, for the record, I am producing Constable. What's your name again? Sorry? Falk. Constable Falk. I'm producing in a document. If Constable Falk fails to return this document to me or tries to take it from my presence, it's, it's a bond. Again, that's why I, I wanted to show you a different thing. And this is stamped by the Irish government. Um, let me put this light on here. Okay, this is for the Ministry uh, of Transport, Dublin, uh, from Sean Paul Kenny, beneficiary. Okay, and this is the bond. This bond provides insurance for Sean Paul Kenny and my corporation for the value of four million sterling. Now again, that is not a certificate quarter insurance. Uh, again, that, that, this is a bond. That, your, that is, your your certificate of insurance comes from a, a bond. Wait, Sean, you, you buy a policy. Sean, listen, can you give me the formula? I'll bring it to the station. No, I'm going to be seizing your car for no insurance. Uh, listen, uh, you, uh, as insured, if you seize my property, you will be committing theft. You have read the notice on the door there. You have read the notice. You have read the notice on the window that if you seize my property, you're liable for a thousand pound fine, constable. Leo, sorry, I'm going to cancel your fucking thing. Constable, I'm stepping out a sec and I'm no That's threat okay. to you, okay? I'm no threat. On that side That's okay, I'm no threat to you, I'm stepping out because I have paperwork here that I wish to show you before you seize any vehicle because as I say to you, you will be committing theft and it has been recorded here. As, as I have shown you there, this is a bond. Uh, I have provided this to one of your constables before this has gone to the other places, uh, the courts, uh, Judge Nigel Project and that has it. Now if you seize my property, you will be committing theft. I have asked you to provide me with a form to provide these documents to the station and to send me on my way, you failed to do so. Therefore, any claims you make, you will be making individually as a constable and you will be committing fraud. Now, this is a challenge. I'm not confirming anything just right now at the moment until I read you this here. This is a notice to challenge judgment to Nigel Broderick. Fraud vitiates everything. No judgment of a court, no order of a minister can be allowed to stand. If it has been obtained by fraud, fraud unravels everything. The court is careful not to find fraud unless it is directly pleaded and provided and proved. But once it is proved, it effectuates judgments, contracts and all transactions whatsoever. On Monday the 27th of June 2022, at a venue being Balmina Courthouse and in a setting under you, Judge Nigel Broderick, authority setting being a courtroom, one R. Needham, constable of the PSNI and witness for the Public Prosecution Service, did swear under oath that he earned, believed when asked by I, Sean to name the victim, the living man or woman who made a claim or report of I causing harm, injury or loss to be a Virginia, with no other names but Virginia, to which I now know, or to, to which I know of no woman personally or one's travels met any woman by this name. I'm not even quite sure what's going on here, but whatever script this man is reading, it sounds a bit odd. Upon doing some research into Regina, I discovered that Regina is the crown, uh, or is the queen, and Rex is the king. Thus, Regina Rex represents the crown and or the state, aka government. As neither the crown nor the state are living man or woman, they have no living right to make any claim and or report to be a victim in the context of being a living, breathing man or woman. Given this fact, Given this fact and the fact that I sure, uh, did read to our meetings on the day that I was stopped and as King Charles took his oath to be served or to serve and not be served under your oath, you are violating your royal oath. Hello! He just doesn't shut up. Now, again, I have asked you to provide me the form to bring this to the station because I do not feel comfortable talking to constables uh, who do not seem to understand and I do not wish the constables to be making false claims. So I wish for you to provide me with a form and send me on my way and I will bring in... I will, I will, I will bring the documentation 
to the Balmina Police Station. And I have offered my services freely, but under duress of threat and seizure of property. Sean, what's your date of birth, please? Again, under duress, it's the 23rd of the 1st, 1981. 1st, 81. Thank you very much. Now again, 23rd of the 1st, 81, I got that right, yeah? Yes, again, I have uh, informed you, Constable, that you are committing fraud because as, no. you, as you are now processing... Sean, I'm just trying to be my job. And listen, I'm just trying to be peaceful and get on with my life. Yes, you're abusing your powers to enforce actions which do not apply to the normal living man and woman. Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? If the officer's actions don't apply to the normal men and normal living men and women, who do they apply to? Like what? They do not apply. And I'm going to exp and I'm that that's okay. I've been on that registration for three years. It's not illegal. Okay. Uh, it's not illegal. That's why I told you to speak to Nigel Broderick. When I was in court last year, because of this case with Arn Eden, Nigel Bro Arn Arn Eden put a he done the exact same as you. I'm sorry. Arn Eden tried to do the exact same as the cars going by. By the way, that I'm shouting. Okay. Arn Eden tried to do the exact same as you, and he brought me through court for a fraudulent plate. When in court, Nigel Broderick, when the charge came up for fraudulent plea, because I had my documentation given to Nigel, Judge Nigel that is, the charge was dropped from a fraudulent plea for failing to inform DPA of a change. Okay, and I did inform DPA of a change after that, and I provided Nigel Broderick with that, and I had that documentation here too. So as I said to you, under Data Protection Act, I do not wish to keep even means Okay, and I wish for you to give me the form and I will come to the station. Right, well, can you explain? I can't understand why that's, that registration isn't coming up on any system. You will need to speak to the CEO of the DVA because he has been informed it's recorded. I have the... I have... I've ha asked you for your insurance documents. Can I provide you? I provided you... You provided me with a bond. You haven't provided me anything that says certificate of insurance. Look, it says on there. It shows you on there. It provides it insurance. Does it does not it, say... It says it provides insurance. Listen, we're getting wet here. Can you give me the form and send me on my way and I'll come to the station and talk to you there. We're, we're you're going to, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going to leave a minor strand at the side of the no, road no, no, and an 18 year old. Yes, no. you are. No, no. Yes, you are because I have a minor in no, the car. Fair. We'll get them sorted. We'll get them sorted where they need to be. I'm not going to inconvenience them. It's and and what are you doing with me? I'm stopping the driver under the road traffic order on the road. Wait, you're stopping me under the road traffic order? Can you state which uh, part of the road traffic order? Which section, constable? Which section under the road traffic order? Because it varies. Because again, I've told you under section 3 of the Fraud Act, failure to inform, you will be abusing section 4 of the Fraud Act, which is uh, abuse of your position. It's rather mind-blowing to see that the sovereign citizen movement is growing all around the world and it's not just something that's happening in the united states as you can tell by their accents they're not in the states sounds like they're in ireland or somewhere and it's it's crazy that no matter where you go on the globe there's always going to be people who want to misinterpret the laws and think rules don't apply to them your position as a PSNI constable is to serve and protect as you are failing in your obligations and your royal oath to serve and protect and any claims you make will be proven to be fraudulent. Now I do not wish you any harm constable and I wish for you to send me on my way. Failure to send me on my way will see you committing fraud. Now again I have various options at my disposal too under section 24A of the PACE Act, I can perform a citizen's arrest for you violating section three of the Fraud Act and section four of the Fraud Act. Again, I do not wish to do these matters. I have freely offered to bring the documentation to Ballymena Courthouse for you to assess it. Everything I am saying is true and truthful and can be proven in a court of law, upon which if I am brought to court, you will be made to stand in court and give your evidence as the victim because you are not given a witness statement.
you're not a witness to anything. That's you're right. the one making the claims. And again, under the Data Protection Act, uh, under GDPR, uh, which is regulated by the ICO, there's categories which are titled controller, joint controller and processor. You are processing as a joint controller. I'm the controller and I have the ultimate control, which means I have the first and last word. I'm trying to work with you. I've I've, talking over me. I have offered I have offered to give you my free yes. service at the station out of the cold and wet. Yeah. I've asked you to send me on my way. Okay. I've showed you documentation. But I'm not that, okay. You're not going to, so this is you under your own free will no doing this. Vehicles now seized for no insurance. Okay. I have provided you a document no, which you which you disagree with yeah. and you're making false claims. Yeah. You're processing. Listen, okay. You've read I'm, a letter to Judge Potter. You showed me a bond. Yes, okay. which a, a, which a, a which a bond supersedes a policy, by the way. Some Department of Transport or something like I, that. A, bo it, it a bond supersedes a policy, but anyway, listen. Right. Again, you are processing information here unlawfully. Unlawfully, you are breaching the Data Protection Act. Now I have informed you, and you are of your own free will seizing, which is theft of a property after reading a notice on the window, after having been given free information and service under duress of threat of being arrested. Now, am I being arrested? Peter Bravo. Am I being arrested, Constable? Roger, you couldn't uh, start me a serial phone no insurance, please. Again. Just proving that he is starting a serial process. Roger, Church Road, in he is starting a process to get serial numbers. A serial number is just an incident number. Again, that's a process. Yeah, it's just part yes, of you're a process. You're a joint controller. I'm the controller of the information. I have tried to be reasonable with you, but as joint controller, your powers are limited. I haven't been obstructive, and this recordings will prove that. Sorry. On police systems, on the motor insurance database, that that vehicle is not insured. The motor insurance. Listen, I have informed government policy. I have informed government heads of all of this here. Okay, I am registered on a different it's system than you. On the information that I've received, as far as I'm aware, there's no insurance on that. Okay. As far as you're aware, so again, this your is your free received. statement. Okay, so that vehicle is now seized for no insurance. <laughs> Again, seizure is theft. Now, with the two people that are in the car, if you require assistance to get them on, it is cold, it is wet. Am I being arrested? No, I'm not being arrested. I'm not being arrested. No. Okay, so I'm... I, I, I haven't arrested you at any point. Okay, you haven't arrested me at any point. Hours, Sean, okay. And you're seizing uh, my property. Yeah. And that's all that's happening here? No, no, I haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. Right. So, so you're holding me against me well here now too. Yes, you are. Uh, listen. Uh, it does be a lot easier then, Sean. It's 1822. You're under arrest for driving with no insurance. You do not have to say anything. Sorry, but hold on. Don't. If you do my not phone. mention one question, something which oh. you need All that yapping, he still gets locked up. Hey, let's go, let's go.